Okay, let's check out Empire of Sin. First look. Oh, do I choose between the? I, don't, okay, I guess I don't even know yet. Okay, deliver into the lady. Of. I'm your man, Frank. Nice choice. Soy la reina de. Hey, good choice. Come on, va. All right, we gotta start one to see what they do. Oh, I like it. The verdict is still out. There's a lot of systems that look like they could be fun if they have. I mean, I feel like I feel like a broken record saying this. I say this about nearly every game when I first check it out, right? Which is exactly the same. Which is. Good choice. Brothel ambience, casino, threat generation. All right, new game. Enemy factions. Is there no tutorial for this game? Okay, guess we're gonna find out. How are you? You're awfully quiet back there, friend. Wait, do I have to do something? I just assumed he was being quiet. All right, maybe I have to click. I have to click dot dot dot. Of course. Ah uh, yes. Don't got much to say, huh? We'll see. That's fine. I think we chose the but brothel owner, actually. Go. Take me to Fulton Market and leave me in peace. Ah, take me to this place. Now, leave me in peace. Sure, I do have a job offer. A brothel is opened up near my mother's place. You help my pal Zizi close it down. I'll give you five hundred each. And if you take over the place, please don't build a brothel there. It's funny. I actually hate this time period mostly. Or uh, fantasy settings, but we'll see. Or uh, fictional settings, I guess. I'll look into it. Good. Sal La Mancha is my name. I'll be in touch. The cab driver gives us missions. Weird. All right, show me the ropes. Oh, thank God. All right, awesome. Immediately happy with this. There is both a tutorial going in and the option to skip all future tutorials. Okay. Sure. Right click and enter. I'll do it. What's the fiber? Type of internet connection. Alright. This joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the Meat Packers gang. Okay. Control is ambush. Uh, obviously, I will ambush. Alright. So this guy is cowering in the corner. How do I tell what the boss is? I can't click. Can I see information about them? 1 AP to attack. Melee AP. Fire a barrage of shots at all enemies within range. And there's Overwatch. Are these hotkeys? Let's find out a four. Hey, they're hot keys! Yes! I want to use this one to shoot some both. Dude, he does just wave them around, doesn't he? We steal their cash. We don't get any any loot. Take loot. When you win a racket, you have several options. Let's take this place over and make it ours. All right, take it over. All right, I thought we were. The mission said we were going to a brothel because he didn't like the fact that a uh, brothel had opened by his mother's. Now, this suggests it's a speakeasy, which I don't think is a brothel, right? This is just a bar? Rename building. All right. Filthy's last sin? No, no. Filthy's first sin, maybe. That's probably what we got to call that. That's not a bad name. Yeah. Okay. Now this racket's yours, and that's how it's done. Oh, wait. When we go and attack people, we just leave the corpses around and carry uh, workers with us? Excellent. All right, so we built our first bar. We added a band. Miguel, Derek, Neil, and Janet. Crushing it. All right. Look, at oh, the corpses went away too. Nice. Glad to hear I'm done with my home internet saga. I'm not done with my home internet saga. Tomorrow? They tomorrow they connect fiber. Tomorrow night, the next day, etc. I will be testing the fucking internet to make sure it's actually doing what promised, what it's promised. And then is moving home. But... Fingers crossed we're getting close. Fingers crossed. Gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent. And they're looking for work. If your empire grows, you can gain access to bigger and better hired guns. Wait. <laughs> Literally, like, we just shot somebody. Some guys come up off the street and they're like, hey, you, you hiring? <laughs> okay. Uh, traits, poverty, religious, boxer, birds of a feather flock together as a trait. Brave and Im uh, immovable. Can I? Probably if I select one. Oh, no. So I need to know what those traits do going into it. So that woman loves Bruno, and this person is an enemy of Bruno. So we definitely don't want to hang, hang, uh, hire them both. Up front, zero. Monthly take 2%. I can't negotiate it all, so I guess it's just their cost. That's fine. Cool. Now, hire your second crew member. I can't believe I have to hire someone who is immediately in opposition to the first one. Well, maybe we want that in our organization. We want our members in opposition. Gracias. Perfect story conflict if I hire both. That's true. That's true. 
If I zoom out enough, I get a different map, okay? Outside the, click outside the brewery. Right click outside the brewery to head there. All right. Oh, it's only like four buildings over too. Should be easy. Fantastic. You're under attack by the meat packers. Well, we obviously will fight them. Right. That us? The meat packers were expecting you. Hopefully, they've also expected their funerals. Let's take them out. Okay. You think the police are a big part of this game? Because we've already so far violently murdered, like in this, in this like one block. We okay. A lot of deaths in this area. Okay. So map's pretty tiny. Yet no, there is a cover system. Okay. Can I see my traits in combat? Left and right click do not open interfaces, so it doesn't look like I can check my traits in combat unless there's a another way to do that. Open character sheet is binding to I. Okay, so we're gonna try I. Hey, that's what I was looking for. All right. So we do have stats. We have a defensive bonus, a movement stats. All right, armor class up here. Cool, cool. Shit ton of traits. And we look like we have a ragdoll of nine items. Cool. All right. That's what I just wanted to see. I just want to see what we're working with here. Okay. So we are killing all the enemies. There are two of them. You're here for the frustration. The game has so much potential, but in the current state, there's so much wrong. Okay. Well, this is our first look um, outside of deciding that this would be worth looking at when it came out. I wonder what my range is. Can I see range? I can, I mean, I think red and white lines are LOS. Like that's blocked LOS. Weirdly. I don't know why that's blocked LOS. But that's unblocked LOS. What's the green then? In range of the weapon? Or in melee range? So it must be an in range of the weapon because I just turned to green when I moved there. So that's useful. So you get three indicators. You get blocked, maybe out of range, maybe not even blocked. But it kind of looks like blocked because otherwise what, what is white? It might be optimal too. All right, we'll walk over here and shoot everybody. So how do I move? Cheers. Right click is move. Took an action though to move. Didn't realize that because now I can't shoot everybody. Rip. All right, 71 versus 86. All right, Hugh Miller has a shotgun. Targets all enemies in the cone. Do you think it's an AOE weapon or it's a high damage weapon? It's acting like an AOE. I guess I can look. Do I see damage stats on a weapon? Yeah, I do. All right, there's quite a lot of stats on it too. I wonder if weapon loadouts are gonna be impactful. Sure. All right, uh, I wanna shoot that guy. So what is this? The yellow is a dash then. I wonder if dash movement's further. So I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. So I just probably shotgun the shit out of this guy. Make sure he dies. Is it one to shoot shotgun? It is. So we're going to move to Pull here. Out. Then we're going to shoot him. Does it hit my own guy? Is there friendly fire? It does highlight the cells that are affected, which is really nice. Uh, what does this person have? Reload. We're on tutorial and first one, so let's look. So I am now in range. I am. So I wonder if there is some issue with that then. Well, maybe. I don't know if I saw an indicator for distance that mattered. Did we shoot him with the Tommy gun? Yeah, we did. I want to try melee, so we're going to go melee him. The so one to move there. I'm on it. And let's give him some punching. Uh, that could be a punch icon, but I don't know what that looks like to you. What? Why did I move after meleeing? I already moved to the location I wanted to melee from. That's interesting. You only melee from the front. Uh, we go next, so let's see if we can finish melee. Copy that. Was there a delay? There was an end, so that's end turn. So I think we have a delay. So delay costs okay. We can, I should have delayed then instead of ended. Looks like delay has to be used with full AP. Good to know. Uh, I want to melee this guy. So what I wanted to see then is what is the indicator? I can attack from there if I click the tile. Okay, so there are ways to do this. Yeah, it looks like I choose the tile to melee from. So I must have clicked on the wrong tile. Vale. Uh, easy fist ah. kill. Punch oh, him to death. That's not, that's right. All right, buy a hammer. Hammers are very expensive in this game. I'm not sure about you guys, but I think I can get a hammer around me in like a local hardware store for like under 10 bucks, probably. Maybe two. I don't know. It's been a long time since I bought a hammer, but I guarantee it's under 50 bucks. But this this hammer is $5,000. We can buy nerve tonic. 
Dull the pain nagging at your nerves and keep your mind on the task at hand. Temporarily reduce the amount of damage taken. Okay, so there's consumables. Healing kit is way cheaper than anything else we've seen yet. There's hip flask. What does it do? Minus five marksmanship plus 20 melee. We get drunk brawlers in this game. Sweet. Do we do boss fight tomorrow? We do it now. Let's do it now. One quick boss fight. Okay. Seven enemies. Be fine. At least our, our location's a bit more reasonable. They're not all around us, which is nice. I don't have a lot of cover that moves in that direction. I guess they're really far away. I think any of them have rifles. Submachine gun, pistol. That could be a rifle. This. Oh, there's more over there. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big hit. I'm very far away twice per round. What pistol is that? I need to see these guys, by the way. I don't think this is winnable right now. Got him. I mean, I may be able to break the AI. I mean, the AI has been really bad in this game, so I might just be able to go take cover somewhere and shoot them from range with the, the, the rifle or something. Kill him. Where's our heal over time? Heals 30 per round for the next round. So that seems good. Gotcha. What? No, don't. Gotcha. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's put it on a guy at full health. Fucking interface, man. You got it. That's really irritating. Entendido. Huh. Moving. Sure, I didn't need that guy to do anything, right? Right, chat? Right? You got it. Part of the boss difficulty? I'm sure you're right. And it's just straight out. Mark target removes armor, right? Not great. I mean, we're behind cover, which is different than armor. So it's just a de that's an uh, reduction there. All right, but I wasted that first round. Our first round was really hoping to get to that side over there. Um, where are we going here? I can maybe pistol from there. How's our health? 91. It'd be nice to kill that guy. He's at 24, though. He probably doesn't die to a pistol. He might. Gotcha. I died a double pistol. Shooting this guy seems good, too. Rude to subs as well. Mm -mm. Bullseye. I think Dracodra was talking to me there, but I don't really understand why. Moving in. Who knows? Moving in. All right. So Capone is taking a million. Oh, Capone's at six because instead of getting a 30 point heal that triggers every single turn, we full healed a guy who was already at full and got no value out of it. Awesome. I'm not, I'm not too worried if it is, honestly. All right. So what am I doing about my Al Capone being at like two health? Not a lot, I don't think. I guess I'm moving to the corner here and getting shots. Oh, there. That's bad. I'm definitely not able to take this fight right now. Although I'm a little concerned that what cost me the fight, dude, I can't even step around because the corpse blocks the step on this guy. Really? Yeah. Rude to everyone, apparently, huh? Assholes. What do you think? Can we get in melee? Nope. All right. So what is this one? We have. Okay. I can heal him. That seems sketchy. Like the tonic misclick cost it. It certainly made this a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Yeah, I think that's probably over for us. I don't know. I guess we should take this moment to find out. Why did he just get up again? What? All right, well, we have to heal here. All right. We're not doing anywhere near enough damage per round. We really needed... Uh, that was not a very big heal, was it? Okay. And then we got to shoot some guys here. Okay, he's down again. Moving in. Game didn't instantly end, which is kind of weird. Does he have plot armor? Please tell me no. He's back up again. I thought they downed him. Maybe they didn't. Shit! Oh, shit. All right, so that's game over.
All right, I don't know if it changes much with the tonic. I would really prefer to have four people to do this. I think this is probably a tomorrow thing. We'll probably end up pulling back from um, the location and then moving in with our fourth person when he's back out. All right. How do I like it? Um, the verdict is still out. Um, there's a lot of systems that look like they could be fun if they have... I mean, I feel, like, I feel like a broken record saying this. I say this about nearly every game when I first check it out, right? Which is exactly the same. Which is, if I'm not initially put off by the game... Or the game isn't initially incredible. What I'm doing is a, what I'm doing is evaluating it, and the evaluation is based on essentially how does the gameplay work when you get in depth a little bit. Is it fun? Is it repetitive? Is it broken? Is it imbalanced? What's what's the deal? And you often can't tell initially, and we're we're, further, we're not further enough in to really get that. At the moment, the the big flaws that stick out to me right now is combat is insanely repetitive right now. Um, interface is a bit awkward, both in combat and out of combat for getting information and translating player player intent to player action. So I don't know right now, why do I build a casino, casino versus a brothel versus a um, hotel versus anything else? I really don't know yet. Uh, how do I get a sense of how much money it makes me? I have no idea yet. How much, uh, t you know, when I look at upgrades, the thing I'm evaluating upgrades on is cost versus returns. How long? Well, that doesn't mean anything until I have the context of how much time passes in a game. So all of these things are there but don't mean anything to me yet, and I won't know until I've played some more. The plus sides of things are things like, uh, I like multi-factions, I like the idea there's a diplomacy system in here, there's a whole different set, there's a shit ton of different weapons in the game so far, um, there's a number of different upgrade and building options. Um, it looks like the systems are there that it could be fun, but I don't know yet, is the answer. So, from that, I, I don't even know how to answer the question past that, right? Which is, which here we are. What game did I find unbelievably good the first day? I think I really liked Urtok on day one, but let me just take a, I'd have to look at my like library and answer that right now. What do I have installed right now that was really good, like on day one? Um, Celasta was pretty damn good on day one. Ring of Pain was pretty damn good on day one, although it had replayability issues for sure. I mean, those are just recent. I'd have to go through and like look at a list to answer which ones. There's things that have happened. Hades was excellent on day one. Yep. A lot of fun games on day one, for sure. Uh, you think a lot of people on Twitch aren't used to having normal interactions? I might see normal interactions patronizing or placating. I, I also think that I don't know, like, I don't wish to piss off every viewer who comes in and asks a question for sure, but I also want people to be aware of, like, if you're answering questions a million times, like, I'm trying to give him an answer so he doesn't just answer or ask a question in, into the void and get no response back. But I'm also trying to deal with my own sanity of having to answer that question 45,000 fucking times already. And I did answer him. I thought I answered him just fine. Like, I, I'm almost I want to go back and, like, watch the clip of it, like, or rather watch that part of the VOD. I don't remember being rude at all. I, thought, I think I literally just said, you know, um... We're all trying to find that answer out. <laughs>